Hey y'all. So we're back. We're doing it again. The Sims 4, but every room is a different color. Mixed with a solid color build challenge, sort of. It's usually very chaotic. <laughs> but this is like one of my favorite ones to do because it's just kind of like, I don't know. I get lost in the sauce on this one. Something about everything being like the same color in each room, just like it does something to me that I like. I don't know what it is. So here are all the colors that are actually in the game. There's like 12 total. And every time we use one, we'll remove it from the color wheel, literally the color wheel, <laughs> so that we don't use anything twice. But first we have to build a house. Okay, I have done something. <laughs> I'm not totally sold on the curved patio thing. I was just trying to experiment. I just felt like it was a little bit weird sticking out a little, but I wanna just cover this spot with plants and I'm hoping that will solve the issue. But I thought we should do maybe a solid color like for the outside. Like maybe we could roll the dice. I feel like this is a really bad idea, but here we go. I usually don't do this for the outside, so I'm like really, really, really nervous that I'm gonna get something crazy. No, no! <laughs> love the Christmas music though, love that. Blue, maybe we can go for like a light blue, subtle, like cute, you know what I mean? Like maybe we could do that. We've got some subtle blues, sort of. Hey, that's technically blue, but that doesn't look bad. That looks good actually. That's like kind of nice. Ooh, look at that. That looks almost white. Ah! Oh! But it's not, it's just the lighting. Playing tricks on you, don't be deceived. So I'm probably gonna go with this one because it does look pretty nice. Uh, maybe we can switch it up with like a blue stone or something. Oh, that would be fun, let's do that. Maybe we can do it on this box right here. Oh, cute. Should I do it on this little box too? I like it, mixes it up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I should change the roof texture. Yeah, this is where it's gonna go really, really bad. Oh, that's not subtle. Okay, I don't think the blue metal roof looks that bad, but it is like very in your face. That one's a little better. How's this one? <sighs> That's hard to look at. Uh, what if I change the trim? Okay, I mean, that's not as bad. I mean, I don't like it. In this lighting, where it doesn't look blue, we could get away with it. We are gonna have to do a blue door and blue windows. I'm happy with the blue door. I think a blue door is actually very cute. Every time I do see a blue door in person, I'm like, wow, that's cute. A lot of options, so that's good news. We do have medium wall height, because this is like a small build, so that's so pretty. I was thinking about like putting it more on like the side or something and then having like, a window here. Cause here's my plan for the inside. It's very small. I may have to make it a little bit bigger, I don't know. The plan was bedroom, living room, bathroom, kitchen, dining. If I need to go upstairs, we will go upstairs. Like if there's just not gonna be enough room, we'll just go up. Cause I actually really like the shape of the house. Like I think it's like, I mean back here it's a little boxy, but like trying to keep it like an interesting shape. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. So blue windows. There's a couple of cute ones in here, depending on the type of blue you're going for. Oh. That's blue? So obviously the problem is that everything's a different shade of blue. Classic Sims. <laughs> so I just have to find something that matches. These have blue shutters, which is cute. Oh, they have the blue with the brown. I actually really like that. But I'm thinking we may have to go for something like this. I don't mind that because it's got a little bit of white in it too. So that's nice. <laughs> I also do think that this just looks good with like the style of the house. I don't know if I can fit two. That might look weird. Yeah, two don't really fit here. Unless I go with the bigger version of the, oh, actually, I do think that looks better. Is there a blue flower basket? Say yes. These have blue flowers. I will accept it. This is just my favorite flower basket. It's the base game one. I just love it so much. I feel like it always looks so cute. I do feel like we need something like a chimney that is blue, believe it or not. It's blue. This lighting just makes everything look a lot lighter than it is. I feel like that's good. Oh, and in columns. I was like, why does it look so weird still? I'm starting to realize that the curved, yeah. See now that, that's weird. Okay, maybe we remove that. So I was actually using a platform tool instead of an actual patio, just cause I like the idea of being able to raise it up like just a little bit, but the house stays on the ground. I kind of like the multi-level thing. Okay, so for blue columns, I mean, we've got quite a few really nice ones. I wouldn't normally use them in blue, but whatever. Okay, let's just use this one. 
Okay, if I do it like this, then the spacing here and here is a little off. I'm hoping once I put stairs in that it won't bother me, but I'm wondering like how I'll feel if I put these all around. Cause normally I love the way that that looks when I just do it with white columns. So let's see how that looks. It could be better, but it's not that bad. I think it just adds like a little something. Let's also change the flooring here. Oh, that's a beautiful blue flooring. That's gorgeous. We can also change the uh, platform. Like what are they called? The trim to blue. Yeah, there we go. That blends in nicely. We actually don't need stairs. This is low enough off the ground to where like they could just step onto it, which is what I like. But if we were to add a step, that does look a little silly. I'm not gonna lie. What if I do like this one? That still looks a little silly. Do I need to raise it up with one more? If I do that, I'm actually gonna change the trim. That is blue, which is very subtly. And I do need a blue stair. Oh, here we go, perfect. I've been getting this glitch where like the like whole part of the railing doesn't show up for me at this height. If I raise it up, it's fine. Super duper weird. So I guess I'll raise it up again, even though I didn't want to, but that's fine. Okay, put some fencing on there. Okay, it's looking kind of cute. Now we can do the rest of the windows. Okay, we definitely want a lot of windows in the dining room. I just feel like it looks really pretty. Have like one in the kitchen. We can maybe try to squeeze in some more in this bedroom, but it is so tiny. I actually am not even totally sure a bed can fit in here. I may need to make this room bigger. Okay, it can fit, but barely. Yeah, okay. The room is good. It's good. It's fine. It'll work. Um, I was thinking about maybe putting like a back door here because we're level. We're on the floor. Your Sims can just get out. It sounds so mean when I say it like that. Yeah, they can just get out. I'm actually, I'm going to do this one. It just matches this one way better. And I like the stained glass. This does not leave a lot of room for the kitchen. But we'll try our best. Okay, I am going to move these around just because I love them. Put them everywhere. I also did add this little bump out here. It's not quite centered with the door, which I'm sorry if that bothers you. And this little B is blue. It kind of matches that little guy. That was unintentional, but I thought it was cute. I tried to move the door over more. It is like literally. <gasps> Oh no! How do they get in? How do they get in the house? They're floating. Oh my god, I didn't think about this. I did not think about this. Okay, how about if we just, what if we just, yeah, we really gotta raise it up, huh? We really gotta raise it up. Can I put like stairs? What happens to the, what's going on? I mean, I can. This is supposed to be the living room. We can't be taking up all this space. Oh no. What if I extended the patio, extended the roof, extended this roof, and then extended the room, all the rooms. Okay, I think something like this should work. I think it looks a little bit better than stairs. It's not perfect, but I think it's the best I can do without taking up too much space. I think it's fine. They just have to walk down here. I might be able to push it over. It's just like, it's hugging the wall, hugging the wall. It's also not centered with the stairs anymore. I hate that. <laughs> can I like scoot this? Why not? Is it because of the column? We can get rid of that. Oh, I could do that, I guess. And then just move the column here and I guess that actually technically does line up. It's just like slightly off. <laughs> I could also have used a smaller door. I just now realize that. Anyways, let's add some lights outside. Okay, there's these really pretty like florally ones. They're gorgeous. I'm gonna add one there. Also gonna put one of these in the back. And then I think I want to put a fence around the house. I just find that that's like, it like completes it. Oh yeah, landscaping. I'm gonna be here for a while. I'll just check in with you guys when I'm finished with this. Okay, I'm done with the outside. Um, yes, I use the same bush over and over again. Yes, I did that. Not a lot of options, everything looked bad. <laughs> But I did do a backyard, kinda. I put fake gates, cause I wanted to do this like flower thing. I just added a couple of things, trash cans, stuff like that. Just blue things, <laughs> blue activities. Well, let's finally go inside. I feel like I'm doing a blue solid color build challenge. That's what it feels like. I'm ready to do another color. First, I'm gonna add some lights in here. I do need to add doors and arches. I think I'm just gonna do like white. I don't know, just to keep it consistent throughout all the rooms. I just realized that the uh, living room is still lifted up <laughs> by one. God. So now I feel like I have to add another platform. I can't even put stairs on this one. I don't know if I should do it like that or if I should like extend it. This is a weird situation I've put myself in here. I don't like it one bit. Trust me, I tried to do stairs, but you have to like, you have to do it like this, which I was not a huge fan of. However, I'm starting to wonder if that's the better choice. I just don't like how much room it takes up. That's my only thing. I could extend this all the way across or maybe I could just put a wall in there. Hopefully this works. I can test it in a minute, but ay yeah, yeah, doing this platform thing caused me so much stress. Okay, so this living room is small. I'm trying to figure out where I wanna like put things. 
Please forgive me for how stupid this is. I'm so sorry. This is like the worst layout I've ever done. In order to get to the bathroom, you do have to walk like in front of, oh, wait a minute. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to put a TV here, which means this is gonna have to be like this. Why have I done this? What have I done here? Cause like we can mount the TV, sure. I mean, I, what, I guess that's fine. Is that, that'll have to work. Let's pick a color. Okay, here we go. Pick a color, pick a color. Please be something good. So a moody living room. Okie dokie. So let's start with flooring and wallpaper. Okay, ooh. Do I do it? Oh, there's black like wood flooring. That's actually nice. Okay, I added this here as like a railing. I don't know. If we're doing black, I'm really gonna hone into the like darker feel. Like maybe get, oh, like get one of these. Like a matching one of these. I need a better rug. An end table, here you go. Is there a lamp? Oh, there's the moon lamp. That's cool. It's also, oh my God, the big candle. Oh, that's pretty. Let's do that. I need a good rug. Maybe a square is what I need. Okay, I found this fuzzy one. I think that'll work. Black coffee table, black decor. We can use this fireplace. Very nice. Obviously the TV is black, so that's nice. Plant. Perfect. Oh, I never did wallpaper. <laughs> I thought something felt like it was missing. This is gonna make it really dark. So brace yourselves, buckle in. Oh my God, why do I like it? I do love this wallpaper. I feel like in all the challenge videos, I always use that wallpaper. You know what, and I'm gonna do it again. I really like it. It just adds something to an, like a normally boring room. It's got, I guess it's got like a little bit of color in it. That's like not black, but I like it. Obviously, breaks it up a little bit. So black painting. I think this is counting it as like black, frames, not necessarily the painting itself. I guess we do have these, which is nice. As far as over here goes, what should I do? Black curtains. We can do that. I was thinking of putting like an accent table. We've got like these pretty skinny ones. Put a mirror above it. Maybe put some more decor around. I want another big plant. I guess that'll work. I'm actually gonna switch these. That's pretty cool. Okay, honestly, I know the door is in the worst place ever. <laughs> I'm honestly like, should I move it here? Like maybe that you can just like walk through here. I mean, it sucks either way. So I, I apologize for that, but I think I'm done. Let's move on. Let's do the little bathroom. Let's just get it over with. And what color will it be? Please be good, please be good, please be good, please be good. Don't don't be weird. Oh. It's actually not weird. It's actually kind of boring. <laughs> what? Well, now I'm bored. You walk in, it's gray and black. I wanted colors, fun colors. You no, know, might as well get some fun wallpaper. Yeah, there you go. That's gray. That's gray if I've ever seen it. Oh, wait. No, that's more white. Okay, bathroom. Gray toilet. We have that. Here we go. Here's a gray toilet. I'm gonna put the toilet right under the window. We'll put the sink here. We'll put a mirror above the sink. Ooh. I don't know why this gray almost looks brown, but it's technically gray. I think it works. <gasps> Can I fit a shower in here? Like a bath shower? Oh my gosh, barely. We gotta scoot it over just a smidge. Okay, that literally barely fit. Okay, yeah, let's get some paper towels on the walls. There you go. <laughs> what else can we put in here? Oh, maybe some curtains would be good. I'll do that in a second. Yeah, we could do a an ironing board. That's good. There is not, there's not a lot, not a lot out there. We could get a little fuzzy rug for you to step out onto. That's nice. Honestly, I don't know what else to do here besides put art, maybe? Oh, right, right, we have to do the curtains. I forgot about that. There you go. That's kind of gray. It's got a little bit of blue in it, but I think it'll work. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there. Oh wait, was there toilet paper? Oh, there is. I don't know if I would call that. No, 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 it's gray. There we go, all done. Um, Let's do the bedroom. Let's move on to there. Give me something that's not neutral. Now I'm bored. I want something outrageous. Do it. No way! I'm so annoyed. What is with these, the last few videos, everything I do is just neutral. Light brown, so boring. I mean, we've got a lot of choices with this one. I, that's got green in it. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's do that one. Obviously wood floor is gonna be really easy to find. Like, it's so easy. That's like the one good thing. The flooring looks normal. I was trying to get something to match this brown, but um, it's more of a dark brown, isn't it? We could do that. That's probably the closest I'm gonna get. And I'm just gonna go with it. So let's do the first thing we need to do, the bed. Uh, light brown, there's gonna be a lot of options for this, I think. Does the bedding count? Because I think they're basing it off of the frame. I feel like that's pretty close. I think it's pinkish, but it looks close. We need some end tables or 
some nightstands. Dude, these browns are all over the place. What's going on here? Okay, those lamps are perfect. Let's get a rug. Okay, we've got a rug. Let's get a dresser. Oh, that one's so cute. I love that one. It's adorable. Might actually put it over here. I I think I'm gonna squeeze in a bookcase in here if I can. Actually, maybe I'll move the dresser here, put the bookcase here, because I also wanna get a mirror. And I think we can get the one that I like. You know, the one, haha. -ha. I just don't know exactly where to put it. Here's some plants, that's perfect. Here's another plant, also perfect. Oh, what about an easel? Those are brown, perfect. Maybe I'll put that over here. Or maybe, maybe I put it in the corner. Kind of like that more. Maybe we could fit in like a chair. We could do the bear. I'm gonna do the bear. <laughs> it's decided, I've already figured it out. The bear is staying. All right, we need some curtains. Darn these tall walls. I need really tall curtains. Dare I say these are the best ones. That's saying a lot, because I do not like those curtains very much. Like the color of them. It's just not, it's not slaying, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's do like one piece of art and I think we'll be done. Like squeeze that in, that looks really nice actually. Oh no, no, we need something above the bed. Duh. I don't know where this came from, but it's so pretty. Oh, it's from werewolves, it's gorgeous. I love that, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm done. I actually really like that room. Not a huge fan of brown. However, I don't hate that room. I actually kind of like it. All right, let's do the kitchen. I've been avoiding this one. We've gotten rid of like most of the neutrals now. So hopefully we'll get something cute in here. Oh, green would be fun. Oh, or okay. Careful what you wish for. Orange! That is hard to look at. <laughs> Halloween's back, baby! I really don't know what to do for the walls. I don't like anything. If I do this, I gotta change the floor. Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine, that'll work. Time for the kitchen, okay. At least we have a few options, like this one's not bad. Oh, that tile do be clashing with the floor. Maybe we go with this one, or this one. Oh, this one's nice. Okay, I guess this is how it's gonna be laid out. I can do an island. Ooh, or I can do like a little like bar thing like that. I might even like scoot this door over a little bit. That's cute. And then we can get some bar stools. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Can't really get out of the door. Unless I move the door like, uh, maybe I could move this back and then this over. Oh, yikes. Actually, that's all right. I think I do want to get some curtains. We need some long ones. There we go. They didn't add matching upper cabinets for this one. So you're telling me we got to shake up the style on the second floor? Uh-uh. Well, this one matches better, but I, oh, I hate it. I can't believe there's an orange sink. I genuinely can't believe that. I might put the sink in the island. I know it takes up a spot, but I really want to put the oven like right here. Oh, we can do that one. That one's cute. It, why does it look so Halloween-y in here? Halloween just passed. You just missed it. Okay, I wanted to put a coffee machine over here. That looks so funny. We can put a microwave in the corner. Honestly, I want to put stuff on these counters, but there's not much space for your sim to like prepare food. So I think I maybe won't do that. Let's get a trash can. Perfect spot right here. And I mean, honestly, I think that's all I can do. I can maybe put something on the wall right here, like a painting or something, or like some sort of fun decor. And I think that's all I can do in there. Otherwise it's gonna be a little too cramped. Let's move on. Is this the final room? <gasps> the dining room. Okay, fun. We only have two neutrals, white and brown. I am hoping for anything but those two, please. Oh God. <laughs> Yellow for the last room. Okay, we could do a pastel, maybe. Or, mm, no, I'm gonna go all out, I'm doing that one. As for flooring, that kind of looks more orangey to me. I don't know about y'all. This one's nice though. I feel like it matches really well. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Let's grab some curtains. And the most important thing, the star of the show, we need a table. Ooh, not a lot of yellow tables. And the ones we have are not amazing. What about this one? They're okay, they're all like way too big. I made this room to be small, small table. Come on, that cannot be it. They're too big. Okay, granted this table's great, but it's they're, they're all huge, except for this. I can do that one, but I mean, there's more blue than anything. Oh no. This is so scary. I'm I'm literally gonna use this one. I hate it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I hate it for this room. We can save this with chairs. I believe we can save this room with chairs. Okay, maybe we can save this room with a nice floral arrangement. Is that too tall? I don't care. Okay, we need a rug. <gasps> that rug is so cute. It's considering it yellow. I mean, I guess it's got some yellow features. It's such a cute rug. Oh my God. I don't want to replace it. It's so cute. Like that could save the day alone. No, I, I don't know if I'd go that far. 
It's really cute though. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Yellow plant. Okay, there aren't a lot. They mostly just come in yellow bases and I'm cool with that. I wanted to try to fit one of these in here because they have like plates and stuff on them. They're really pretty. Good for a dining room. Maybe if I just move this over a smidge. Oh my God, does it come in yellow? No! I forgot to sort it by color. Well, there's this one. There's nothing in it though. <gasps> I can put plates in it. We're saved. And then on this side, I could do a big thing of paintings. It is under the yellow category. I don't know what they're seeing in there that I'm not, but it does not look yellow to me. And I'm so sad as I want to use that. This, however, fits the bill. I'm just going to copy and paste the same plant over. I do feel like we need something in this corner. I have no idea what to put in this corner though. Like at all. Oh my God, wait. I do love these little like oranges in here. That's actually so cute. What? I can put them up here. <laughs> oh my God, so cute. Oh, a big vase could be cool. I mean, these are not yellow. They're in the yellow category, but I'm just not seeing it. I could do a pedestal and put something on it. That's true. Okay, I'll do that. And then on top, ooh, there's this vase. I don't wanna put this vase on top of it. All right, you win. The bust, it wins. I'm done. Okay, I this side of the house, calm, neutral. This side of the house, chaos. Looks like a sunset. That is so crazy that we got three neutrals. I actually think that this room looks the most normal. Like even though it's supposed to be like a solid color because all the browns look different. So it doesn't even look like I was trying to do that even though I was. Like this room looks a little moody, you know? And obviously the step situation, we don't have to ever talk about that ever again. And then the outside in this lighting looks normal, but it's actually fully blue. Everything is blue. <laughs> so yeah, there's my little, uh, every room is a different color challenge. It's uh, this was a weird one. This one was weird. I'll say it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like Sims content, I do make a lot of it on this channel. So feel free to subscribe if you have not already. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.